I jumped out of war here with another Saving Your Disaster campaign. Um, so today we're playing as the Al Allens in Total War Attila. Now, it doesn't immediately look like a complete disaster, but when I look into diplomacy, I see that this is not good at all. And even if you've got lots of territory, having all of these wars here can be disastrous. Uh, you're really going to try and limit yourself to one war at a time. Now, we don't have much intel anywhere, so... We've just got this to move around, and... How can I help? Seems like we're f reasonably late in the campaign. Like, midway into the, into the campaign, so, yeah. So anyway, I'll just try to do the best I can. It shouldn't require any more than an episode. If I'd managed to just get a couple of regions, try to get a couple of peace treaties, that should be good enough. Now, this guy here can move, but unfortunately I can't see... Actually, let me just see if I, if I come over here. How can I help? I must let my mind be still. Hmm. For the tribe! I mean, I could hire some mercenaries. They haven't yet converted this. Looks like they only just took it. If I had to guess, probably from us. If, if I had to guess. I mean, if we have a look at their wars. See, they don't have that many wars going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that they just took it off us. Don't know, though. Alright. These guys here have really good melee attack. Thing is, we would be up against... Well, we've got artillery as well. No missile units, though. Cavalry is not really going to be very useful in this situation. Right, now I'm going to get them. And that, because it's cheap and relatively good. Don't have a... Oh, I got a bit of money. It's alright. Bring you over here. There might be some more mercenaries, because it is a different province. Besieging settlement! None will escape! Oh yeah. Archers, there we go. That's what we need. And, yeah, some more of those. And we've got full stack. Money's going downhill, but don't worry too much about that. Okay. Now, we can't order resolve this, so I need to take my time and just do a good job of this, I suppose. We've got everything. Hang on, if I do this... Nah, it's not going to do anything. And uh, I don't want the added visibility problems if we're not actually knocking out some of their, their armies. But also, we need to consider, it's not just about winning. We need to win well, you know, try and minimize casualties, because what happens if we get attacked over the end turn here? I think I think a lot of people don't think about that stuff. They just think about the battle at hand. Oh yeah, I won the battle. I lost 99% of my forces, but I won. Oh wait, I got attacked over the end turn. Whoops. You know? Think about whatever battles could be ahead. There's loads of enemies in the area. Oh, motherfucker. Whatever. Would have preferred rain over fog, but anyway, that's just the way it is. All right. Now, enemy reinforcements will come by boats. I'll need to manually aim the towers. Ah, uh, the uh, yeah, aim at the towers. Otherwise, the chances of them hitting is like bloody nothing. That's already damaged there, so one or two shots ought to sort that out. But we should attack with... Okay, there's the port. Okay, where is the path? Okay, so we can come up through here, up in here. That might need to be destroyed. Maybe that one. And we've got a decent amount of ammo, because we've got two of them, so we'll, we'll see how we go. Oh man, I'm not used to having a balance of power bar. Yeah, it's not a legendary difficulty, obviously, by the way. Not uh, very few of, of the save files that I get sent are actually on the hardest difficulty, I think. But that doesn't make them disasters. Even if it's on easy difficulty, if you've only got one settlement and it's like... Getting just absolutely annihilated by, uh, by your opponents. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe I'm getting too close there. Enemy has been sighted. Oh, no restrict camera as well. Oh, it's like treating me out to dinner. Alright. Uh, this 
Is it insert or home? Try insert. Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess I can still see well enough to hit this. Should only take two shots. I think I've overshot that one. Oh, hang on, it might hit. Nice, two for two. We also got to be mindful of these troops that are going to land. We don't want them to fuck us in the flank. But only two shots. That's not even a single volley, really. Ooh, close. Now, I don't want to be doing any damage to the actual settlement because we're going to be here afterwards. There's always some degree of inaccuracy. It does seem like the wind is pushing it to the left a little bit, so what if I account for that, and then of course it goes extremely the other way, but no, we're not going to hit them. There we go. Good. Oh, come on. I think we got it. Good. We've used very, very little amount of ammo. Now these guys are transport ships, so I don't know. Maybe we should burn them while they're trying to come in. We just need to make sure that we have some ammunition left over because we need to, at the very least, breach that. Just moseying on in. I don't know why they'd be stupid enough to land here, but fuck it, I'm not going to complain. If we can take out some of these guys with just a few rocks, then great. So on huge, um, sorry, on this unit scale here, the onagers don't seem to to scale properly, so they don't have like two. So you can still get just as many rocks off. So on lower difficulties, the Onagers could end up doing more damage than on than on higher unit scale. Balancing, we don't do that at Creative Assembly. Get ready! All right, we got, we got to get some shots off. Come on, hurry up. I should, have, I should have set up this right from the start. Come on. Stop dicking around. You gotta, you gotta start burning them now before they land. You can even see how much damage we've done to the ship. I'm just not used to this stuff. Ready for battle. Come on. Cool, one thing down. Almost. Well, I'm glad they're just, they're just sitting there. Come on. Good, another one down. Come on, it's closer now, you can do this. 
good they've got two. That's essentially them having done their worth, but I want to, you know, obviously try and get a bit more. Ah, nice job, nice job. Okay, I don't think we're going to get any more than that. Hang back. I really wish it wasn't foggy. Okay, let's see here. These ones should be up front. Proto is using the mercenaries first. So far, so good. Our guys ripped through them because they're nice high melee attack. It's like the opposite with, of the Romans. The Romans had really high melee defense, but disgustingly low melee attack. So our guys are just ripping right through them. Alright, you two return back over here. Because, uh, not that far. Over here. It's okay if some of them get back to the, to the town square. Get you over here. Charge into their rear. Don't. It's because javelins. They don't. They don't care about friendly fire in this game. Wipe out that Nordic warlord because he's dead anyway. And we still got plenty of ammunition here to, to work with, so that all worked out pretty well there. Now, obviously, we could have done a bit more damage, probably, possibly, but we don't want to get too close to this, which is why I let some of them get get past. Because on this unit scale, those towers do a shitload of damage. Death from above. As I've said before, it doesn't scale properly. We'll kill them all. Warriors, move out. Forward. You know, relative to Eugene and Scout. Uh, no sense in letting these guys get away. Get back into formation. Alright, let's get a bomb over here. Actually, stop, 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 stop. Got a better idea. Let's start to. Yeah, let's start destroying sections of wall here. It might actually be just a little bit too loud. Just drop it down a little bit. I've been trying to tweak it a little bit because I think people are saying the Total War Tiller stuff's a bit a bit quiet. But it usually takes me a while to get my settings just right. Requires a bit of trial and error. Okay, 
So ideally we want it to collapse when there's people standing on it. So let's just wait for them to go back there. They'll, they'll usually go back to it. Alright, and you need to finish this one off here. Nice. Nice and accurate, that one. I think this one's going to miss. Oh, is it going to hit? Yeah, no, it's going to miss. It was just slightly off. I think this one's going to hit. Nice. Good. Let's create that breach there that we were going to do. it. So now we can get a lot closer without worrying about the towers. Unless we want to destroy this tower here, we can, we can get even closer. Don't really need to do that, though. Uh, don't need to, but could. We've got to keep in mind as well, if we destroy them and then come under attack of the end turn, we can't use them. Alright, so I want to create a breach here, just because they're standing there. Get off it. Let's go cool. rid of that third of a unit there. There's another section here we could destroy. Got plenty of ammo, so why not use it? Less work for our, our troops. Which means fewer casualties. Which means easier to defend. Or less likely to come under a counterattack. Okay. Just wait until they put some more guys up there. Which, you know, they may not. So we've got this section over here that we can damage, or that tower, our tower. Let's go for this. Okay, so that one still needs two more hits. One hit. Maybe they don't want to place them down there. You know what? I think I will destroy that tower. I think better safe than sorry. I can't properly aim at it from here. We have to get more of the sweat. Now, of course, like I said before, I do not want to damage the settlement because that just means you know, our guys aren't going to fight. Well, if in defense of the city.
hang on. Finish this. Stop, 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 stop. Might as well create a nice, nice big breach. So that our troops can get up relatively easily. No one's gonna die, but. Oh well. Alright. Archers will go up first. Use up their ammo because it doesn't look like they've got any. Undershoot it, but even if I go up slightly, just slightly, it overshoots it. It's just not sensitive enough. Ready and if I get any closer, I'll just get shot at. So that doesn't work for me. I'm just gonna have a use of the same way. Whatever. Alright, so, heavy shot. No, 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 sorry. Heavy shot. Yeah. Walls are destroyed. The defenses are no more. Last year, ammo. Oh, fuck, we got a timer. Oh, plenty of time, though. So yeah, the artillery definitely did a good job, especially with those ships. Um, I'm going to actually come a bit more over here and try and shoot these Nordic spearmen. They're not going to be properly able to defend themselves from, from this angle. But shooting into this, on this unit scale, is, is, is basically just going to do... Oh, didn't see them there. Accurate enough, so many shots are missing. Alright. Bring you over. No, no, you can't go over this side because the tower is still there. Alright, so these guys are going up first. These two are in reserve. These two are better off used for defense of the city afterwards. They're not attack troops. kills. So yeah, that's doing nothing. But the thing is, once we start the melee engagement, these guys aren't going to get a chance to shoot anyway, so I might as well just use up what little ammunition we've got now, otherwise... This is going to go to waste anyway. But yeah, I'm not really happy with how they're doing. The crossbows. I do find that these guys here don't work anywhere near as well in uh, smaller unit scales. They work much better in uh, large unit scales. This is doing nothing. Okay. I don't really want to use javelins just because they're just going to be stumbling over each other trying to get up there and they'll shoot each other in the back of the head. So, let's just get in there now. Maybe I should have destroyed that tower. Okay, you stop now.
So in a straight up melee brawl, our guys should do really well because of their high melee attack. Don't fire at will, because they just do not care about friendly fire. Which is such a frustrating thing about this game. the cavalry in just because you know we want to keep their the casualties evenly spread out somewhat and they'll help speed this up a little bit God, performance in Attila is garbage Now, because we left a few shots left, we could probably just whistle shot our way to victory. Enemy units have returned to the battle. You know what? We don't need to do this. Pull that back. Get over here, everyone. Ah, oh, it's too late. It's about to be captured. doing very much damage over here as well. So I don't know. Back, back, back. Oh, there they are. Capturing a victory point. Warriors, move out. Augustia, say, warriors. Now we could go chasing him down. But I'll come into contact with more more towers. We're getting destroyed by these fucking towers here. But we have captured the, the thing. So just, just get back down here. He's shattered anyway. Just get back here, wait for the time to run out. Because I don't want to go running around the whole city trying to hunt down every last unit. Alright, there we go. Good. Okay, that's a good start, I think. Very good kill ratio. And maybe we could even get a peace treaty with them. Maybe. 
Yeah, we should we should prioritize replenishment. Because we don't know what's out here. Well met. What do you wish of me? Alright. So, speaking with the Geats, how do they feel I about this? They did not give one fuck that we did that. Well, maybe they didn't take it from us. I don't know. Maybe they took it from someone else. Don't know. Alright. Uh, yeah, it needs to be converted, obviously. The money that we make from here is pretty garbage. But we can get spies here now. How about that? I am the knight in the dark. So what are the public order problems here? So difficulty level minus two. That means, yeah, it's on hard difficulty. Right. Okay. What's this? Growth plus ten. I'll go with the extra tax rate because we kind of need it right now. I am a servant of Almighty okay. God. Ready for battle. So these guys here are a little bit on the expensive side, but I really like how they performed in that battle, so I kind of don't want to disband them. So let's have a look. What level are you? Yeah, that seems good. And how's he leveled up his legion? Yeah, uh, that's that's not too bad. The reduced upkeep cost, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I think he's done well with that. Extra campaign movement range there, that'll be, that'll be good. Alright, uh, I don't think we need to disband any of these units. They all, they all perform pretty well. Those will be, you know, obviously a lot better in field battles. Okay, well that's got to go. That can stay. Probably better off demolishing it and just rebuilding it. That rather than converting it, I don't know. Mm, I mean, it's not that expensive. And yeah, we'll keep that. And then, oh good, it's got six build slots. What else do we need? So that's where he was able to get the Alani swordsman from. Ready for orders. I was thinking I should probably recruit another army, but money. I mean, we could just jack up the taxes. How much could we make from that? And the extra seven hundred—it's not really worth it right now. All right. Doesn't have a granary here. Yeah, and since there's scholar issues, we'll probably need to get a granary. I mean, there'll be an extra build slot here. We'll just have to figure it out as we go. For the tribe! Can we get another spy? Yeah, let's do that. Spies are very useful. Even just for, for intel. Alright. We good? I think we're good. So now that we've increased our strength, let's see if we can get some agreements. Your people's reputation goes before you. Find a welcome here and speak. Okay, that'll increase our income by yeah, 120. Hey, it all adds up. In our good name, be welcome and sp greetings to you. I the thing about the Swabians is they're holding territory that we want, but we're not at war with them right now. Welcome. Speak. 
Speak quickly and well. Okay. Then. I don't really want a non-aggression pact with them. Because I want to take that territory. As far as I can tell, we just have to deal with the gates down here. Don't know what, what they've got down there. And the Caledonians here. So I'd probably prefer peace with the Caledonians. Let's see if we can just bribe them for a peace treaty. That. Well, speak. I will listen before no, I they won't have it. They're considered a lot stronger than us. They might come down here with an army, but they usually don't attack on the first turn. Which means we could get back there in time to possibly help them. Possibly. It's going to take a few turns to heal. Alright, I think I've done everything that I can. Let's move on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Politics. Okay, so... Who's... Okay, this is this is the king. He's the general. He's 53 years old, right? Um, Decent-sized family tree. You got a governor over here. Uh, let's see. If we gave him... Sure. It's actually pretty funny how many people don't use the uh, officers. And I'm not, I'm not using that as critical. I actually think that the officers in this game are shit. Comes into so many problems. Alright, what's your skill? It's got four authority. You've got three. So this one here would make a better governor for this province. with this. Alright, we're good? We're good. Moving on. Fingers crossed the end turn goes well. Hmm. We're getting ready to attack. So someone just took Palmer, which I didn't see who had it, but it did look like it was an enemy. And it's been taken by a non-enemy now. A non-enemy. I think I merged my words there. So the gates, they moved there. Where they, they must have come from that other side, but I wonder if they've left it undefended. We can go capture it and then they just don't have any presence down here then. Are those the Gepids? Okay, nothing bad happened over the end over the intern, so that's good. Political obstruction, use your influence. The sanction impo imposed drive the Latin Christian to the edge of society. Many of them are forced to reconsider their faith. Yeah, whatever. Well, finance has improved. I think it's largely just due to repairing the stuff. Now, if we come down here, these Ebdanians will probably smash the shit out of us. Let's have a look. Plus, we'd have to defeat that army there. It'd be, be good to do it. Let me see if I can get a peace treaty with the Ebdanians, because I don't have any territory down here. They've, they've got come, territory come. there. Let me hear your talk. It'd be worth it to pay all of our existing finances to make them go away, but they won't do it. And you've got high cunning. You could night attack them, couldn't you? Hmm. Take them out one at a time. But we'd have to be on the attack. What the fuck? 9,000? What the hell? You know, it would be cheaper to demolish it and then just rebuild it from scratch. Wow, 
Well, we already hired the spies. And whilst that money is good, public order might be a little bit more important. Just things to think about. We've got a decent amount of food we can manage for the time being. Uh, it will take a little while before it revolts. You just stay over here and reduce public order problems by a little bit. So let's have a look at the Caledonians out here. They don't have shit going on. Are they at war with the Swabians? Nope. So what if the Swabians... Could... Could join the war against I welcome you, something. Speaker. Join the I war against your people are known to have honor. the Abdanians, and I will join the war against Jutes and Roman Separatists. How's that say? Come on, that's fair. What about the Caledonians? I'll pay you. Nope. Can't reason with them, so don't worry about it then. Okay. So yeah, we've got a non-aggression pact with these guys here. Got to secure this province. Got to get rid of the Abdanians. They're a pain in the in the ass. How can I assist you? So here's here's the things that I'm thinking right now. And what happened over there? The Swabians took that, or whatever. Um, here's the things that I'm thinking. We either wait for them to besiege the settlement, but they may assault simultaneously. They do have artillery, so they could at least attempt it. Uh, and they probably would win, in which case we lose our best settlements. We could send him over here to defend it, but, you know, we're not at full strength. And if they do besiege it, we won't get any replenishment. What I could do is merge these two units here to recruit another one. Of something like that could work. All right, but another thing is that if I leave Carthago Nova, you know that these guys are just going to come over here and smash it. And you know the garrison here is. Maybe I should take the Alani Nobles guy out. We get no garrison from here. God damn, that's so expensive. And they won't, they won't sign a peace treaty. This is what I'm saying. This is, if it's one enemy, it's not a problem. But when there's, there's loads of enemies, you, you run into problems with this stuff. I mean, it's like easy come, easy go. I think what we should do here is cancel this. Get our money back. Because I just don't think I'm going to hold it. And actually just demolish the shit out of the whole fucking province. Because at least if they don't take it, I'd make some money. And if they do take it, well, I want to replace the stuff anyway. And it was good that we killed off their armies. And if they do take it, then maybe I can come back here next turn and retake it. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Get to it, men. But we should definitely prioritize saving Cordoba. Uh, now, we could make an attack. But should we make an attack? Because that guy there is in a fort. That actually will possibly make it even easier to beat them. Warriors all. <sighs> I don't know what these gates are up to. If it was one or the other, no problem. But both of them simultaneously, they're going to fucking work together. That is a problem. It's one army up against... Essentially four. For the tribe. We'll also have the garrison come out and help us here. Not in a night battle though. Because we really don't want them to besiege the settlement. If they besiege the settlement, they will do damage to it. Alright. We've got cavalry superiority, so we'll be fine here. 
And this seems to be like their best general. And what we could do is, after every victory, check to see if they'll accept a peace treaty. Let's not wait for them to besiege us. Because like, even if they just besiege it just on one intern, it'll do damage to every building immediately, which is really quite frustrating, because one unit could besiege a settlement and cause damage to it. Luckily, the AI doesn't doesn't always prioritize doing that, but we do see them do that stuff sometimes. <laughs> Shows how often I fight manually resolved battles. I don't think I've ever seen a circular camp. Um, I think it's good, though, <laughs> to actually see something I haven't seen before. But it's really just because I'm always auto-resolving, because that's all I ever really need to do. So they'll probably come out at us. Okay, those odds are much better than... Yeah, so they're, they're going to come out at us. So we'll just wait here. Because if we get any closer, the tables will shoot us. Well, if we get too close at us. We've got artillery and they don't, so the longer they sit out here, the better it is for us. get rid of their cavalry because that's the thing I'm most concerned about their infantry won't count for shit but these these Celtic cavalry raiders can be a real pain in the ass Missile ch plant, uh, block chance. Gotta get rid of them then. Alright. That's enough. For that. Did our unit get wiped out? No, they're just cowards. to run them down. Right, that's enough shooting. Is that enough? Enemy units have been rallied. The enemy are losing their advantage. Okay, this is where I really don't want to be because of those towers. 
Robo. Oh shit. Yeah, let's sort that out. Should we wipe him out? It's not enough just to win. You have to destroy your enemy. Yeah, we really didn't take much damage on this, so if we've still got movement, we should try to take out their other armies. If they won't accept peace. If they accept peace, I'll let them, I'll let them go. Because we have nothing to gain. There's no territory or anything yet. No, 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 no. Get the, uh, get the infantry back. Okay, that's wiped up. Should we kill the enemy general? That unit there is... Probably wiped out. Shit. Just get out of range and wait for him to get out of range of the, uh, the towers here, because we're getting destroyed by them. High level general, so yeah, definitely a good idea to kill him. I think if you're having trouble with the campaign, Spain's a reasonably good place to go and like escape your troubles. It's a if you can get full control over it, it's a it's a really good problem to own. However, if you bring your troubles with you, then it's not really any better. And I think that's what happened in this one. Brought the Abdanians, Caledonians, and Geats over here. But, you know, they're happy to travel halfway across the world to come and get you in this game. That's what they do. Okay, well, we definitely killed the enemy jet. Man, that whole army got wiped out. Nice. So that unit there is still alive. But it's okay, it's just one of the mercenaries, so I'll probably just end up merging it. I'd say that they absolutely do not have enough now to, to capture Cordova, but they might try to any- or just like the siege anyway, just to annoy us. Because the AI, they love to annoy us. Yeah, I don't really have enough movement. Okay, so now we'll see if the Abdanians will- Speak quickly nope. and well. Speak ill or slowly, and I may feed your tongue to the dogs. Nope, they won't have it. Alright, well, merge this unit. I can just wait for more mercenaries to show up. Or just recruit another one of the Sarmatian Warband. So let's have a look. Um, so it seems like these Sarmatian Warband are available no matter... As long as it's of your culture, but this is because of the, the swordsmithing building. So, melee attack wise, these guys are a lot better. They've also got javelins, which is good. The only thing better, I think, is that these guys here have more melee defense, but only by a small margin. They've got more armor, more health. They're just better, and they're cheaper. So I'll grab more of those. Okay, so the next thing, yeah, we need to get down to here. That's gonna take a while. So that extra campaign movement range would have really helped us to be able to hit them, but you know, don't have it yet. Father, be praised. How can I help? Fifty-fifty chance. Hmm. Alright, do it. It doesn't cost that much. Yeah, failed. 
you have a Not surprising. Yeah, just, that's just what happens with me. Failure. Okay. I'd like to upgrade that. There's... Let's see. Goats provide the most money, right? No, livestock provide significantly... Hang on, let me see that. Yeah, they provide a bit more, and that gives access to better units of cavalry. But goats provide more food, so yeah, you should you should keep that for now. Alright, that's fine. So yeah, our, our guy over here, I don't want him to die, so kick him out. There's nothing here. If it gets captured, whatever. I'll just go back over there and attack it again. At least now we've got some intel in the area. Okay, what should we do now? Well, I don't think there's anything to do. We've got plenty of money, but not much to do with it. I don't think you need this. I think we should get rid of it. There's just other better buildings to build, and if we could get some more money, we could raise a second army. Yeah, they're going to do it anyway. Motherfuckers. Which means no replenishment, no recruitment. We're still going to be able to kill them, but I think they're well aware that they're going to die, but they don't give a shit. This is part of the AI being absolute retards. Hey, at least they didn't take the settlement, so... Good. Get to make some more money out of it for a turn. Ah, uh, but then they come in. You got too many enemies. Too many enemies. But, you know, that happens in Total War Attila. Leaving the governor behind wouldn't have made any difference. I really needed to leave an army behind here. They just sack it. Or did they actually take it? Seems like they just sacked it. That's fine, because we're demolishing the settlement anyway, so I'll still make money out of it. And... The, the main thing here is we don't want a it to revolt and have like an entirely new faction to deal with. So that's not so bad there. So we're not taking... We're not making money because... Okay, good. Let's smash it all down. Um, smash it all down again. So we're just going to assume we're going to leave this. And then someone can come over here, rebuild it. It's, it's a way to pull some money out of the province if we can't hold on to it. So let's see about getting a peace treaty with the Morians because that was, that was Before you say nuisance. Anything, know that I have an amulet against the evil eye. Dark source. Nope. So yeah, no replenishment. This doesn't get done. And everything is damaged, which is why Father be praised. that happened. How can I help? Okay, a lot of cavalry in this army. That's a definite concern. We probably shouldn't deal with this one as well. Better a separate battle. Yeah. Oh shit, we could just auto resolve that. A lot of cavalry. Because hmm. our guys here... That, see, if we were playing as the Romans, the Romans would be able to handle this pretty easily. They've got decent anti-cavalry. But this is anti-infantry. So, I don't know. We do have these guys coming in as well. See, my biggest concern is definitely the Abdanian uh, cavalry raiders. These guys here won't count for shit. Alright, I'm going to fight them manually. Really need to minimize casualties. Look, if we can if we can manage to have our cavalry engage with theirs, our cavalry will wreck them. But if they're skirmish mode, their cavalry will wreck ours. That's what I'm concerned about. No fog, please. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Alright, uh, stand back a little bit. Because we've got to get our reinforcements in. We need to be organized before they arrive. Yeah, 
I don't have any shield wall or anything like that that I can use. They've got artillery as well, but let's just wait for our reinforcements to show up first. Reinforcing troops, and not a moment too soon. They seem to be moving forward. All right, who's who's got the fastest? We got some horse archers here. I might be able to utilize them to try to to piss around their units. up there, see if we can waste the ammunition of their their rocks, of their onagers, but more importantly try to thin out those Abdani cavalry raiders and we'll see how, how good these uh, Alani horse archers are. Their speed is very good, so there's no way they're going to catch us, plus we've also got this, which is a flaming shot. And keep in mind it's garrison units, so it doesn't matter if it gets wiped out. as well. One of them hit us, but that's okay. Just gotta try to dodge. Yeah, right, steer clear of their shots. Damn, we haven't done any damage to them yet. Well, any kills. I'm sure we've done damage to them. Hit point damage. It's not very much. Alright, they've completely left their Onager undefended, so we'll just go over there and get... And just go into melee with that instead. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, they're, are they chasing us? Oops, oops, oops. oops. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Like I said, it's okay if they die. I just don't want them to. I'm going to put them on skirmish mode so... That I don't have to micromanage them, although I probably still do have to. These guys here don't seem to want to skirmish mode too much. Fine by me. We have the advantage in melee. It's good that so many of them are distracted out that way. That's so good. This guy here needs to get out. Take him out. Ah, I think he got, yeah, he got caught. And that's why I don't use skirmish mode. But, you know, I've got to focus on other stuff. And as I said, it's garrison units, so it doesn't matter too much. Their units. 
turning in our favor. Okay, yeah, we got this. And it seems like most of their army is pretty much wiped out. Firing at will. These guys aren't going to last long. A glorious victory will soon be yours. Oh, good. We actually caught their cavalry. Guess the, our guys are faster. Nice. Okay, so I think that went reasonably well. No one got wiped out. Their army isn't wiped out either. Yeah, now, if I was to. Yeah, you're not going to get that. Gods of the afterlife. God damn Spare it, they just arm. fuck off. Now why do you trouble my digestion today? He just refused to fuck off. Fucking Morians. So they're recruiting a new army. We, we could take this, but it would be pointless. Um, so, Carthago going over, just let it fall. We, I really can't do much with that anymore. Let somebody else capture it. The Lord blesses you. How can I help? All right, so we don't have much money or food, but that's just because of the damage done to the settlement. Um, repairs need to be made. For the tribe. So if I come over here and attack this. Yeah, we could attack this, finish them off, and then get back to Cordoba without having to fight the, the Geats. Leave none alive. Best we order resolve this, but don't not attack so that we get rid of both armies. And then that's the Abdanians out of the way for the time being. We didn't lose much. Could attack them with a the night attack. But we really do need some replenishment. What might be better, instead of actually going to Cordoba itself, is staying about here. Mm. No, go go back there. Alright, merge this unit. So we've got another one over here that we can get. I mean, they are pretty good. Still, so are, so are these guys. Let's get them. And let's just hope that they don't press an attack on us. I'll try and what hinder them. <laughs> it's like whatever. I don't. I don't. I don't expect. Yeah, whatever. I just. I don't expect it to ever work these days. Lower your expectations. You'll never be disappointed. Okay. A part of me actually hopes they'll send an army over here to Carthago Nova and just lay siege, not actually attack it. We actually end up having a bigger garrison here. Um, I can't believe how long it takes to bloody re replace these settlements. That's going to make things really difficult. Because I imagine these guys here are a different culture as well. 
doesn't doesn't fucking tell us what culture that is. Oh well. Uh, what's going on with the Caledonians? I mean, we could easily take Emerita Augusta. They don't, they don't have anything out here. Uh, that there it is. Okay. I think it's very important to kick the Geats out of the area. We've kicked kicked the Abdanians out. We really shouldn't be seeing them again. If they send another army down this way, it's, it just comes across as stupid. They, we're so far away from them. Then again, they do have seven regions. Well, last I checked, let me just check again. So they absolute... It's not even a legendary difficulty. You just can't negotiate with people in this. Welcome. Your word. Surely, my noble friend, you can see the wisdom in giving a small subsidy to our coffers. So hang on, do, do, do they want this woman here? Because I don't think she's really that good. Hang on, let me just... I have to check on her. Where is she? Is that her? Yeah. She's 22 years old. I mean, we could just arrange a marriage. Yeah, yeah, better she stay in the family and we'll bring him over this way. Right. Only female members may marry non-family characters. So you have to marry a family member. Whatever doesn't make any sense and I don't care. It's not important. Alright. Let's move on. Let's just hope we don't come under attack during the end turn here. Because they could really use just one turn to just have a bit of a rest. They just suck it. The AI just don't care about owning territory. <laughs> Problem is now a revolt will occur, and that revolt might start a new faction. That would be a disaster. We don't want that. There needs to be fewer number of factions, because it just it snowballs. Because it's not like sacking cities make a lot of money either. I reckon the Tiller AI is, the campaign AI is some of the dumbest AI I've ever seen. For I am a servant of Almighty God. Alright, so we got a decent amount of replenishment. They're not able to make it back. They're not able to make it back here. So we could capture this settlement. But then they could possibly retake it. Now, the spy got wounded, but we could. Well, I could use you as intel, because let's face it, this is going to revolt no matter what. Oh, you've been hindered by enemy agents. Of course. I could use you then. No, you've also been hindered. Everyone's fucking hindered. <sighs> Don't have any intel. Well, I know that they have they have two armies. Ready for battle. All right. Well, it's good that we got get that repaired, and that's going away. We don't don't need it. Uh, better to build something that's probably going to make us some cash, because I, I really feel the need to have more mobility. For the tribe. Okay. So, we can get... Let's see here. 
Extra ammunition for missile infantry, really not important. That provides extra melee defense for infantry units. That provides melee defense and melee attack for cavalry. This provides various bonuses. Getting down to here, public order local province is not bad. That's not important at all, but you need that for some reason to get down to here. Melee Defense Commanded Force. So that's for everyone in the army. That's pretty good. Why don't we grab that? Sentinel. Good. Just makes them just a little bit better. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Probably should have merged those two and just recruited a new one. But oh, well, it's too late now. So what I'm tossing up now is whether or not to attack Malika. We could very easily beat it, I'm sure of that, but I'm worried about a counter-attack. I don't know how well we're doing defense. I mean, we do have a unit of mercenary Germanic pikes. They do an excellent job, but also I don't know what the settlement looks like. You know, if we can manage a choke point, that could really come in handy. I'd actually really like it if one of their armies were here so they could wipe it out in that battle. Because they don't defend very well, most of the time. The army here is not really that big of a deal. Mm. Also, when we do take it, it will be a little bit damaged. So, things to consider. Now, another thing is that we could just not worry about them and worry instead about the Caledonians. We do have this guy over here, who I'm pretty confident we could beat. And if we... Is that a fleet? Yeah. If we take this province here... So what happened there? So someone's been fighting them. If I was to take this... Ready for battle. Hmm. See, this guy's not sitting in the settlement either. I'm probably leaning towards going after the Caledonians here. If they were to go and besiege Cordoba, I'm not too concerned because they'd be able to come back. I'm assuming. If I go after Emerita Augusta, it's an easy order resolve. There's nothing we have to worry about there. But they could come in, but they probably won't because it'll just be suicide for them. For Alright, I'm going to send you over here. Let them power easy us. order resolve. Tempting to loot it, but we need to make sure the, da the damage here isn't too severe. Infantry barracks. Well, we can't make use of it anyway, so demolish it. Um, yeah, it's, it's all still very Roman here, so just demolish the whole fucking thing. Converting this, again, goddamn fortune. So, just leave it be. At least it's not on the port now, so we don't have to worry about the Morians coming here and constantly attacking it. And since we've got a little bit of money now, let's recruit... Let's see. How about you? You're 34 years old. You're 32. And you're the heir. Okay, we'll hire you as the next general. Oh, what was his name again? His name is... A, a, a whatever. Something. This guy here. Fearless warrior. Cool. Alright. Reinstates that legacy. And just pr oh wow, oh yeah, it's a little bit more expensive because he's got the improved legacy, uh, reduced upkeep cost. Oh, and he might also have a lot of cunning, and which reduces upkeep cost as well. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you recruit that stuff, and that will put us over the edge in terms of finances. But we need someone to defend this province here. I don't know what to do about this. I'm hoping a new faction doesn't rise up. I am a servant of Almighty God. So that should just repair on its own. I could... No, just leave it. And then we'll start work... We'll just... we got to play it by ear here. Alright. I'll give them another chance for peace. They won't take it. 
I'll give them a chance to peace. God, they won't take it. There's no point. I can't. I can't get peace treaties with anyone. I'm not strong enough yet. Angles, maybe. Come, come. Nope. Nobody wants it. Cause you're at war with too many people. Nobody. Nobody sees any good reason to go to have yeah, peace with you. I really can't stress enough. If you're gonna play Total War Attila and you're not gonna go, this is Total War. Don't declare war with so many people. And if you, someone de does declare war on you, end the war as quickly as possible, one way or another. You do not want to be in this situation. It's bad. Because it makes diplomacy impossible. And don't get me wrong, this is common. So it's everyone, everyone can make this mistake. Good, I'm glad they did that. And it was just separatist rebels, so no big deal. Good. If we leave that settlement with them for a little while, they'll build it back up, and then you can capture it. We, we, we took a lot of money out of that settlement, and we killed off two of their armies. So that was... I don't regret doing that. Because if we didn't do that, they might have been a big problem. But... Did we gain any long-term benefits? Not really. Looks like we've got a wounding over here. That's good to see. Bit of luck on our side. I really didn't think I was going to need to do more than one episode, but we've made, like, literally no progress. An hour and a half. I mean, it's not really a disaster anymore. I just I just haven't really done very much. You know, apart from getting rid of the, the Abdanians here. That's, that's good, I guess. Okay, recruitment capacity... What else is there? I mean, what's this provide? Construction cost reduction? No, don't worry about that. Actually, that that would be quite good, but it costs 10,000. You don't have a whole lot. Go with this, I think. Wait, what's this? Campaign movement range. That's pretty damn important. All right, it's good to see you're back. So where did that army go? All right, they've moved over to Olisipo. Ah, uh, the Abdanians are out here. But we we wiped out all of their armies, so... The shadows but we don't know that they're not going to have heaps of armies out here. It's it's unlikely, like, if I was to guess. I have little gain in but we don't know. Father be praised. How can I help? And they shouldn't have recruited a full stack by now in this area. It should take longer than that. But, again, I don't know. Alright, just keep demolishing this shit. We'll build it up from scratch later. Warriors all. We gotta make some more money in order to pay for, for these guys. So we need these regions. And of course I keep demolishing this stuff here, which will provide us the short term money, but we have to put it back into the city. Which we could... It's so expensive. That is just really, really fucking expensive. And it will take 12 turns to, to convert the region. That's ridiculous. Why is it taking so long? For battle. It's, it's not a priority. because I don't know if we're going to hold it that long. Alright, so we've got two choices here. We go after Pax or Gasa, which seems like the safe choice. But is it really? Because if we take Olisipo and these guys don't do anything, then we're, we can come down here next turn, no problem. I think we should do that. Okay, so it packs Augusta. Ah, uh, no, 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 Olisipo. There's not really a great deal of defenses here. And we're in good shape. They won't count for shit. No. No, they're, they're not that tough. And they've got a fleet out here, which I'm not overly concerned about. Alright, let's do this. Fingers crossed they don't fucking send some huge force at us afterwards. If we do a night attack, we don't have to... Why did we lose? Doesn't matter. Um, probably best we just deal with it. Actually, no. You know what? A night attack would be better. As much as it says it lowers 
chances of success. I know it actually isn't. Because, yeah, those guys there could be all they'd need to actually cause us significant damage. And they're they're not really a huge threat to us. And if they if we capture the settlement, right? And then they capture it back, then we'll just kill them. I think we need a second episode. It's just I just haven't done enough. Alright. Oh, it's still Roman culture. Yeah, God damn it. Why does it cost so much to get rid of Roman culture? Alright. They don't have a huge naval force, and if they're going to pour out of the city, let them pour out from here. We can still use Flaming Shot even in the rain. I can't believe they never uh, um, patched that. Total War Attila did not get much love when it came to patches. It's got plenty of DLC. Happy to, see, happy to you know, flood the fucking faction pack DLCs. But patches? Oh, no. Nah. Game doesn't need patches. This game is fine. They don't have great range. The enemy has been spotted. Warriors eager for blood. Like oh, fucking these guys here just get wrecked by missiles. Ready for battle. Alright, I really think you need to get over here. But if you just come around over this way. Make them, make them land here. The cavalry will easily handle them. I don't want to shoot at them. Oh, shit, we probably lost one. Okay, we're just about out of range there. This is why we want to get them on the land. If we can kill the enemy general nice and early, that would be good. Alright, good, they're landing. doing damage to the settlement, but you know, it's not very accurate. No, 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 don't shoot. Save your ammo for later. Don't need to wipe them out, just get back. Right, I'd actually really like it if you get rid of this tower. One thing you could potentially do is actually attack this, make it burn, and it should burn the watchtower as well, at least if it was dry. I'm not too sure about rainy day. Okay, well, let's, let's just see how that goes. No, 
No, it doesn't seem to be burning yet. It burns out really quickly because of the rain. I think because of the rain. Doesn't matter. Oh, hang on, it's doing some fire damage. Just one more hit will do it. It's actually quite fortunate that they're just sitting there, allowing us to do this. And yeah, if we kill the enemy general nice and early, whistle shot our way to victory. Alright, that's getting fucking ridiculous. If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Oh, I can't fucking see where the arrow is pointing. Get a little bit closer. Oh, we can't really get that much closer. Yeah. Well, since that, since I can't see, I'll have to trust in them. Hopefully, they hit it. Oh, hang on, it's it might just be burned down because of this. So I'm not going to wait around for that. Just. See what happens. Cause that'll burn out soon. Yeah, there we go. Alright, finally. Good. Now, keep aiming for the general. Alright, now we can get a hell of a lot closer. What the fuck are you aiming for? One of our units can no longer fire! Let's get the slingers over here first. Let's see how they do. It's good that they're not so tightly packed it. You can actually get some good good kills in. Yeah, they're doing well. I really should be trying to aim for the general. Oh, shit, if I get if I get too close though, those guys will shoot us. Surprised they didn't actually. Good, well he's, he's killed off an entire unit, so that's great, but we haven't killed the enemy general, which is what we actually need to do. Oh, well. He did well though. 110 kills, that's that's like two whole units gone. Now, if we look at missile damage, 50 as opposed to 38. But, if we go up to whistle shot... We'll see. So yeah, still gonna try and prioritize killing that general there. What are you getting shot by? Ah, oh, is it this? What's shooting you? Oh, fucking artillery, right. Well, why didn't they shoot this guy here? You come over here and get shot by the artillery. I can't even see where it is. Okay, 
Because you've already used up your ammo. No, they don't want to do it. Damn. Hard to dodge the rocks. I can barely see in this fucking rain where the, where the tra tails are. And because it's nighttime as well. We haven't even got a single kill on that general yet. With uh, with this. So we're probably not going to be able to kill the enemy general with, with missile units. Just get a few more shots in and then I'll pull you back. Oh good, they're shooting at him now. Slingers so far did a lot better. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. Don't use up all our ammo though, because I still want to be able to use some whistle shot in case we do kill the enemy general on the melee attack, which will be soon. So, alright, still got a few shots left. Okay, pull back now. I think the artillery used up all of its ammo. Yep, okay, good. Alright, who's up next? I think we should use these guys here, because they can easily be replaced. Just thinking how to go about this a little bit. Whether or not I should send the cavalry in at all, probably not. Alright, just go in there, turn them into mince me. Don't fire at will because I promise you if they if they, when they charge in there, they'll shoot their own men. And since these guys have high melee attack, just rely on that. have to cut our way towards the enemy general somehow. It would have been so good if we had killed him, but this is what we just have to deal with. Alright, you come over here. Same with you lot, come over here. And their rack can up some kills. How tired are they already? I need them to kill faster. Alright. There's a bit of a, a gap through here, so I'm going to send these two through that gap to get rid of these archers. That guy's will be exhausted soon. They got Wolfhound Spearmen, those, those guys are pretty decent against cavalry and you know, regular Spearmen. Alright, you guys get in over here, don't fire at will. Start, start turning these guys here into mid speed. Alright, I need to get a rally in there. 
is under attack! Can I kill that general? He's not looking too good. Then we'll get a whistle shot ready. It might cause some of my guys to rout, but it'll be more devastating to them. Alright, send them in there. Even though these guys are spearmen, they're, they're not great units anyway. Gotta get to those archers, they cause me too much damage. through here. Alright, at least those archers have been moved out of the area. Absolutely, you must kill this guy. There we go, we got full unit shattering here. Nice. If we had killed the enemy general on the on the artillery barrages, we barely would have lost anything, because it was good to just whistle shot the entire way through it. But, you know, you can't hope for extreme luck all the time. Still, a good good result. We probably actually could have taken that on as well. And I'm quite happy with how they performed. Yeah, but we'll definitely want replenishment. Okay, we've almost fixed our financial problems. Alright, so Raider's Gathering Place provides a lot of squalor. Yeah, no, we don't want that. Sacred Well. Celtic Paganism. Uh, get rid of that. Fishing Jetties. Keep that. God damn it, man. Why does it cost so much? For the tribe. It provides us with no garrison either. Man. Converting culture in for the Alania, you really have to sort of turtle with them. I mean, we've got a good amount of money, but it's... You need new time as well. We're not war with them, are we? No. Come, come. Alright, well, I'm going to end it here, and we'll have to do another episode, because I'm not confident that if I hand this back to him, that he can handle it from here. It's. I think we only need one more. All I want to do is capture Pax Augusta, uh, Malika, Carthago Nova. I don't know what we're going to do about this, and then try to get a peace treaty with some of these guys, which I should be able to do. I think that the worst of this is over, but I don't know. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. There will be a part two, and we'll see you next time, fuckers.